Well, guys, I'm back to Mokiri after over a month away, as it took forever to find what I needed in order to continue the series, and I finally found her this morning, um, earlier this evening, and that is Jaja Kronos, which took forever to find, and her stats, of course, are terrible, and her summoning cost is 14, which is the highest I think I've ever seen of anyone I have so far, so you're probably thinking, What's so good about her? Well, she has so many good moves and um stats that could break the game basically. First off, her summon cost me I'm um, summon time is zero, so she's summoned on the very first go. Second, she has an ability called Space Mastery, which allows her to go across the field no matter where you're at. So she can move from one side of the field to the other. And she has an ability called Rewind, where she can be resummoned after she dies. So she has infinite use, unlike everyone else. And she has four very useful moves. One is Whittle, which lowers the opponent's HP by a quarter of their current HP so the first hit is guaranteed one quarter damage which is very useful at this point in the game and of course teleport which is also very useful it lets um, Kronos swap places with someone so you could set up a trap have Kronos swap places with someone and have er and have that person get swarmed and finally these two abilities right here which raises I mean gives a target an extra move or skill chance so they can either attack twice or move twice so of course for giving that to Irisei would be very devastating and also I've moved around Irisei stat moves around to make her very more useful I taught her spin slash which is a move that actually attacks multiple points at once which is very good offense I think I had her had before which of course raised her attack by 15% and of course this one move, Metal, which I think I ha had her on before, since this is the Warrior Earsay, not Magician Earsay that I used throughout the um, playthrough. It moves, it um, removes all debuffs that she has on her. So if she got Poison, going like that, which is very useful if I use Kodoku. And then finally I moved her stats around, so I gave her a massive attack boost right here. I gave her Invigorate, which doubles her attack, magic, and defense. I increased her HP a little bit. And finally, more devastating. I gave her, I mean, she, I gave her, um, Solitary, which, if she's the only one on the field, on the, out, on my side, she gets a 35% attack, d defense, and magic boost. So, her attack is gonna be, get like a 50 plus boost, right then there, she's the only one on the field. That's over 200 attack, and of course, with offense, ooh boy, that's very devastating. So, now that I finally got Kronos, I could probably finally take on the bonuses, but there's still one thing left I have to take care of. The one board I have not beaten yet on film, at least. I beat it off screen early today, but not during, on filming, and that's Mirror World. So, hopefully, I can do it again, since the last one was like a lot of luck. Alright. So that's our opponent, a soldier, and oh great, you have- OH SHE HAS Kronos TOO, ARE YOU SHITTING ME?! OH GOD, SHE'S GONNA DO MY STRATEGY AGAINST ME TOO! Well that's most certainly not good. Oh Christ, I gotta really take you on now. Can't have you on the field for long. I can't believe the rotten luck of you having Kronos too. Well of course, Kronos of course is not dead, so it's gonna have to worry about that being used again. My God, I can't believe that. Now thankfully, that used up a lot of her SP, so I might actually have a chance now to use my strategy, the same strategy against her as well. So let's get Kronos on the field. Wow, that was unbelievable luck. Alright, get you over here. Because she got no SP pretty much, so she can't probably make any summons, basically. She's got to really rely on her attack. I saw it was, um, debuff immune, protect... Okay, so she takes the hits instead. Well, that's pretty good because as long as you're dead, I win. So that's a very useful stat for you to have for me. Alright, here we go with Whittle. Cut your HP down by a quarter. And let's get Irisei on the move. Alright, let's see what she does. Yeah, she can't summon anyone. That was very risky of you to do that, but of course, you don't have the um, SP like Iris they had, so that was pretty pointless too. Let's see. 
Weddle again will do that. Now move her back over here. No, over here. Actually, I think I will keep her there. Now she probably can make a summon. Block, what's that? Oh, great. That could be problematic. I gotta see what this block is. Oh my god! Reduces damage by half! Holy Christ! Well... Oh, oh, it's right, you have debuff immune, so I can't do poison at all. Crap, that's not good at all. And of course, Irisei is still very far away from being able to deliver a hit. Which is pretty pathetic. Maybe I can deliver another hit. Of course, I'll lose. Actually, no, maybe I'll can cancel that. And, um, instead, give, um, an extra move action to, um, Irisei, because I need her to get over there ASAP. So here we go, give her an extra move. Alright, much better now she's over there. But of course she's still too far away to even deliver even, um, Assault Slash, which moves her closer. So at the end of turn. Oh, great. Nantar. I know you can inflict poison. Hopefully no sleeper ever. Fumes, oh great, now Irisei's poison. Let's see. Okay, still unfortunately four turns away from doing... From, um, losing that. Christ, that's gonna take forever. Oh, great! You have a massive zone of control too, that's pretty problematic. Alright, we're gonna have to get rid of you. Alright, do it, let's see. What was your... 35... Didn't you have some... Oh, no, it was Kodoku that had, um... An ability that did, um... They get inflicted poison if they attacked. Alright, here we go. Go slash, that should be enough. Don't get paralyzed. Shit, it wasn't enough! Oh my god! Okay, move back. And, of course, I can't summon Kronos or Kodoku. Um, Irisei will fall. Alright, um... Summon Agus. So now she'll take less damage. If I can just lower her SP by one, which I unfortunately don't have, if I can just get rid of it, knock it down the one, I'd win too. But of course we're gonna have to probably move back now, because we gotta get um gotta get rid of that poison. So, here we go. No, 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 not summon. Do meadow, and now she's no longer poisoned. Right. Oh, great, she has a Kodoku too. Well, ain't that just a shit? Oh, Christ, another summon. She moving back? Okay, she's moving back. It probably looks like defense. Fire burst, yeah, you took the hit. Aha, you got shocked! And, of course, your shock got cured. Alright, um, let's see, I might be able to take you down, one shot hopefully, come on, this has gotta work, you gotta take you down one hit, come on, this is their strongest move, come on, take you down, yes, good, one down, of course you got some SP back, stay right in front of Irisei for protection. Let's see her react. Got two more turns still to go. Maybe I'll try and save up and summon Valkyrie. Or maybe I'll try and summon, um, Nozuchi. As I just squashed a mosquito, I just land on my monitor. No, actually, um... Yeah, okay, well, I'm gonna take the chance, though. All right, knows she do a stone needle. Oh, that's right, you took the hit. Fuck, I forgot. Well, you took some damage, thankfully. So it wasn't a total loss. So sit here and wait. And she's gonna be taking all the hits. Okay, block, thankfully gone. Yes, big miss right there. Just what I needed. Oh, great, there goes bad air. So now everyone's poisoned. 
Shit, Irisei took a lot of damage right there, unfortunately. Now she's going to have to use, um... She is going to have to use Meadow to get rid of that poison. Alright, knows is she over here you go. Of course, you can't do anything. Oh my god, the area of effect is, I mean, zone of control is ridiculous! She can't even do anything! My god, this is ridiculous! She literally can't do anything! She can't get close enough to do any attack whatsoever! Oh, she can do no shoot, I mean, um, Kodoku over here. Alright, hit Kodoku this time around. Tell you, you're gonna take the hit, come on. Do nothing! Ah, that did nothing. 76. Okay, we're around the same HP. This is like a stalemate. Uh-oh. You can move across the map just like, um, shit, we're gonna be in trouble, probably. Oh, especially Gremlin, we're in big trouble now. Come on, damn it, because Nosey took the hit and had her defense lowered. Hopefully they'll tag Nosey instead or keep forcing like a wall. Damn it, Irosei took the hit instead. Should have been edges. Place your shock. Of course, warp across the map. Yep, keep taking the hits from me, Nozashi. As long as you take the hits and Irisei doesn't, we'll be good. And of course, that ridiculous ass zone of control again. But you two gotta go. You have got to go. Of course, which is worse is the question. Come on, critical. Weak. Knock it out. Oh, so close. Shit. I was so close! Damn it! We needed that to be a knockout! Alright, I'm gonna have to take the risk. We gotta get rid of you. You have got to go. So do a slash. Actually, no, spin it's free to. Actually, yeah, slash should be enough and save some SP. Alright, move you over here for protection. Because I'll end a turn. Man, we're in very difficult shape. Sucks Namtar can go down. Bad air once again. This is not good. As you're on the move. Come on. God. Damn it. You say you gotta miss. take the miss. You're supposed to take the hits instead. For Christ's sake. And of course, here comes the poison too. This is very, very, very bad. She only got 23 HP left. She still has 76 for God's sake. And of course, she's still not close enough to do a hit yet. Damn it, this is ridiculous. Gotta move you over here. And we gotta get rid of your poison. Meadow. Alright, move your ass over here. You got... No, she. You have to knock her out. We need her to go down. She has to go. So please, for love of God, take her down. Come on, weakness. Damn it, only 84. I don't think Agus can do enough either because she has terrible attack. You guys got to take her down. Take her down. Damn it. How do you not take her down for crying out loud? And of course, still Irisei can't do anything. Well, at least you go down with the poison, thankfully. That's very good. This is still very, very, very close. But! As long as... Oh, no. Kronos again. This is definitely not good. As you move over there. You two are going to go down with the poison, but Kronos is something we got to watch out for. But she can only do half damage, remember. I mean, quarter damage. Alright, now, of course. Slash should one-shot Kronos. There we go. Oh my god, this is very, 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 very close. It still can go either way, believe it or not. It really can go either way, unfortunately. They're gonna go, thankfully, but as long as she can keep summoning Kronos, I'm fucked. I gotta get her, um, Irisei's HP back up. I gotta outspeed Kronos in terms of that. And I might be able to win still, but it's not going to be easy. Namtar is going to go, but um, Kodoku's got a while to go still, unfortunately. Alright, we're going to have to get your HP back. Unfortunately, Nozashi went down. Gave us some crucial SP needed. 
Hey, ah, crap. Well, doesn't matter if I can't summon Kronos if I don't have enough SP. All right. No. We're going to need to do, um, where was it at? Rub dirt and get some HP back. Maybe we can move closer and start maybe doing attacks, but stay next to each other. Maybe I can make a summon. Of course, Kodoku will poison everyone in the field, and she can't get poisoned at all because of the debuff. Hey, Valkyrie will raise stats, so we'll br summon her. This is really right down to the wire, but we still might actually pull off the upset and win it. We gotta watch out for them starting to come back over now. I might have to go back and get back on the defense. So get your ass back. You stay close by crap. All right, rub dirt in it. We need HP back up. Oh my god, this is so close! She's getting eight. Oh great, she has enough SP to summon Kronos again. Shit, here comes Kronos! For quarter damage. Which is not gonna be enough. She can't take she can't deliver the knockout, thankfully. Unless you have one HP left. Alright, Kronos, you gotta go. Hard slash. You should hopefully will be enough. Damn it! Still wasn't! Hey, maybe Agus can um take you out. Since you have no stats. There we go, thank god. Another way... No, Kronos is gone for good for me. Not good, but at least for right now. Now, Irisei's HP needs to get back up. If I can get her... Well, then, then again, doesn't matter the zone of control is a problem. She has such a high zone of control, I can't get over there close enough unless I did that one move. Of course, her, H, her attack needs to go up more. But first things... Actually, maybe I should try and raise her HP... Since is, until those guys come over, Kronos can't do anything, so maybe I'll try and raise attack instead. And maybe move back more. Alright, end turn. Once Kodoku gone too, that'll be very useful. Man, she's getting closer and closer, which is another problem. Maybe it's time for me to start going over and deliver the attack, but then Christ, I can't... What? I think, um, Valkyrie has Air Slash, which can attack multiple... There we go! Well, let's see. Maybe I can get... Ah, I guess I can't get closer. Crap. Alright, I'll move her down here. Protection. Valkyrin, you're gonna do an air slash. Alright, did some damage. But still not a lot. You're gonna move over here. And we're gonna heal your ass up. Because whatever she's gonna do is probably gonna be enough to take you down, unfortunately. Still not enough to summon Kronos yet, thankfully. Got another bit still to go. Hey, I might be able to do it here. I just might be able to deliver the knockout, maybe. Because remember, she has a move that can hit from afar. Alright, first things first. Let's see if Agus can deliver a hit, maybe. Crap, she can't. Oh my god, it's so risky. It's so risky. Because if it's not enough, I'm fucked. She might even be in, do a hit that can take out Irisei in one hit. But hey, we got close up. Maybe a hard slash will be enough. Ugh, that did like nothing. Oh god, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? She has 44 damage. I don't know if I can do it. And I don't want to risk Irisei. I'm so close. Alright, we're going to go back down more. Just to take safe. I don't feel trust enough. Maybe if I can get another hit from Valkyrie, maybe I can do it. She can't summon Kronos yet, thankfully. Still didn't attack yet, thankfully. Alright, maybe we can do it now. Alright, um, looks like, yep, still has a huge zone of control. But maybe an uh, air slash from Valkyrie might be low enough. Alright, 27 HP. Let's see if, um, you can move close enough. And deliver an extra hit, too. And then Irisei can deliver the final blow, maybe. Critical, yes! Six damage. Alright, here we go, Irisei. You're gonna go over here. Move the camera around. And now here we go with the, um... Assault Slash, I think it was. 
Here we go. Please be enough. 21. Yes! Yes! Just enough! Wow! Now that was close! Holy Christ! Wow, that was so close. Just barely pulled it off right there. God, at least I got 16 contract gems. My goodness, how many of them do I have? 70. Almost enough to get something new on that I don't have yet. All right, let's check your safe stats. Of course, remember I can use these TP to increase her levels of her other um forms. I've already maxed out Magician, Warrior, Knight, Hunter, and I've almost got Assassin maxed out. Good, we need to raise Irisei's, I mean, um, Kronos' defense and such. Let's see, anyone else I could do? Raise everyone's defense? Okay, Kodoka I can't do anymore. And, um, um, Nose she I can't do anymore at all. Can't do her. And Valkyrian, raise your defense, so now your defense is maxed out. Well, with that, I finally beat all the main, the boards, the three boards, I mean to say, on the story mode. So now... Next time I play, I might be able to finally take on the bonuses and with Kronos, although I probably should maybe train her up to max out her defense or something. That way she'll be ma as massively strong as possible because I'm probably going to need that. But at least I finally beat all the boards. So see you hopefully soon as I take on the bonus boards.